Hey everybody, so in this video we're gonna talk about how we clean our makeup tools. And what we're going to use is our Dr. C. Tuna Tea Tree Soap. The reason that I chose this soap over the others that are on my website is because this one is anti-bacterial, um, anti-fungal, and antiviral. So that means any bacteria and any pretty much gr grossiness that's on any of these brushes, I'm going to be able to clean with this and get rid of. So um, if you ever had a cold or anything like that and you were doing your makeup, this is gonna help get rid of any germs that were on there. So, let's open it up. And it's really big. There we go. Look how big it is. That's what it looks like. I just chipped right there. So I'm gonna turn the camera so that you guys can see in my sink to show you exactly how I clean my brushes. All right, before I start, let me just take my watch off. And I have one of these like makeup brush, I don't really know what it is, it's to help clean. I put it on my fingers. I got this on Amazon, I think for a couple dollars. So what I like to do is I like to get it wet and rub some soap on there to begin with. And I like to start with my brushes. So I'll wet the brushes and make sure you're not getting the part that's attached to the brush really that wet because if it gets wet, it might um, affect the glue that's holding it together. And then I just brush and you can see the product coming right off. I just like to use one of these makeup things because I find that, to be honest, it's like one less thing I have to actually worry about. So I'll take my soap, rub it back, rinse my hand off, and just continue to brush it. At this point, this brush is probably just about clean. You can tell the suds aren't really changing colors anymore. So what I will do is I will rinse this off and now just rinse with water and brush to get any soap that's left over. And then we'll just grab a paper towel and just put it off to the side to dry. That. All right, next brush, um, I'm gonna do my blush brush. Brush, I don't wanna get this that wet because of its bristles. Just move that there, just a little bit, and then just start brushing it out. As you guys can see, there was a lot of product in there. So this I use only powders for, which is why you don't wanna get it super wet because, um, it can affect the quality of the brush. You can see it's still dirty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my soap, which I probably shouldn't have put on a bounty, rub it back on. And you can stick that there, it'll stay. And make sure that our hands aren't super soapy. And just continue brushing and you'll just continue to do this until it's not pretty much getting any color you know makeup color out once it's like plain white um, pretty much means that you did your job and your brush is clean it's pretty good so now I like to just rinse very gently and you can see there's still bubbles forming, which means there's still soap in there, and that's what we want to get rid of. You don't want soap left over in your brushes. It's no bueno. Never take your brush and lift it up straight. Um, that's how water will get in this part, and it will affect the glue holding your brush together. It's all done. I just kind of squeeze out any leftover water so that's not saturated and I'll put it off to the side and we will do the same with the rest of these brushes I will put this in fast forward oops, fast forward so that this video isn't like 20 minutes long I also forgot to mention I'm using like lukewarm water I'm not using hot water and I'm not using cold water it's still not fully clean, but it's definitely a lot cleaner. 